You can't give me any uh, insight into why she departed? No hints, no nothing. I'm not going to speak to this. C can, I ask, can I ask why? I mean, you can ask. No, no, I'm not... You can ask why you don't want to say anything. Um, again... You can ask. He's doing the chat GPT argument like, I am sorry. I am not at liberty to discuss this. Would you like to hear about some other positive, uh, <laughs> some other positive conversations instead? My programming stops me from telling you. <laughs> How coward and phony Tim Pool became one of the biggest political YouTubers on the planet. A former darling of Occupy Wall Street, Tim Pool has racked up more than a billion views and millions of earnings while dangerously whitewashing the far, far right. Bro, this across the cultural zeitgeist is funny as B-Boy's gaslighting Tim Pool, gaslighting his audience because you venting in your own Discord is funny. Yeah, I mean, hey, thank you for the content, though. It is pretty funny. Um, Yeah, we'll watch the we'll watch the Tim Pool uh, having a meltdown in a second about, like, how he's shocked that his audience is, like, becoming mass shooters. Here is Tim Pool having a hard time with his own audience, uh, with his own uh, guests, I guess. Something else. No, this is sort of verbal diarrhea. This might, might do, do if they get into the government while they're... This what i from my lefty friends, what? you know, is like... Uh, I, 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 think, I think it's only fair that I don't take the heat for what you said, Jesse, and I'm not trying to be a dick, but I'm getting people attacking my character now for having had to take the show down because you made two illusions to killing people. <laughs> so I'm not trying to be a dick right now, but, like, I've got 500 messages of, like, what the f*** are you doing? Why are you taking the show down? Are you f***ing with us? Are you trying to make money? So I thought YouTube took the show down. No, I had to take the show down. Okay. I had to take the show down because you made two allusions within like the span of a couple minutes to murdering people. Okay. After I explicitly stated in the pre-show, do not make allusions to violence. Then went on to explain, Coward. we keep having people come here and saying they want people killed or people should kill people or they can be killed. Or what do you mean? Wait, he's telling you in the pre-show, hey man, uh, don't exercise your free speech. Don't exercise your right to pr free speech. That's crazy, man. Uh, the thing is, if you diversify, you'll take a viewership hit, but you just need to ride the storm and hope new content takes hold. Your TikToks help with this. I agree. What is this? Did you see Tim Pool getting owned by Lauren Southern, who's weirdly not wrong here? Crowder says he has to pay 25K in child support that his ex-wife uses to pay lawyers to go after him. He has to fund his own destruction. Yes, he launched extraordinarily litigious lawsuits against her and her family that she cannot afford because she quit her job to be a stay-at-home mom. He also then went for full custody of the kids, but thankfully she was awarded some funds to prevent herself from becoming homeless and having her children taken. If you understood how much he's spending on lawyers, you'd know she's spending every cent of that defending herself. Should stay-at-home wives be able to have their children taken from them and left homeless if their husband is extremely wealthy? Or should they be given a sliver of the money their husband is spending on lawyers to defend themselves? That's awesome. I cannot believe that this white nationalist freak is on the right side of this conversation. I guess she remembered that, you know, uh, although she is a white nationalist, she's a white nationalist woman and absolutely cumpster Tim Pool here. Jesus Christ. Let him fight, I say. I loved watching right wingers fight each other. Speaking of right wingers fighting each other, let's move on from this subject matter to two right wingers going at it. Let's take a look. Um, was she fired or did she leave of her own volition? I'm not going to speak to this topic, Pierce. At, at all. At all. You can't give me any uh, insight into why she departed? No hints, no nothing. I'm not going to speak to this. C can, I ask, can I ask why? I mean, you can ask. No, no, I'm not, you can ask why you don't want to say anything. Um, again, you can ask. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean I only, I'm only curious because I know what a, a staunch defender of free speech you are, and it would surprise me if it had been someone's opinions that would make you want to part company with them however I mean, su suffice it to say the only thing i will say is what i've said all along with regard to candace or with regard to any of our other hosts i am not in hiring and firing position with the daily wire i'm a co-founder of the daily wire i'm a co-owner of the daily wire i'm not actually in management jeremy boring and caleb robinson are in management positions with regard to candace i think there's there's nothing funnier there's nothing funnier than hiring an anti-semite and then firing them because they were not only anti-Semitic, but also pro-Palestine. It is pretty funny. I love that. That's great. I mean, good moves overall. Keep it up. Or anyone else. And as far as the free speech situation, what I will say is that no company has the obligation to literally pay anyone. The, the Daily Wire is a, is a publisher. It is not a platform. I've never called for Candace or anyone else, for that matter, to be banned from YouTube, to be banned from X, to be banned from any platform. That's a different story. Obviously, when it comes to any publisher, any publisher gets to make decisions about what it wishes to, uh, what it wishes to purvey and not. 
I mean, it's, I'm just not going to labour this, but one more point I would make is it's been reported extensively that the reason for her departure was because uh, her comments had been perceived by people at the Daily Wire <laughs> as anti-Semitic. Someone said, when you ask AI to elaborate, and it's such a good lock, dude, he literally does. He's doing the chat GPT argument like, I am sorry, I am not at liberty to discuss this. Would you like to hear about some other positive, uh, <laughs> some other positive conversations instead? <laughs> My programming stops me from telling you. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm not going to comment on this, Pierce. Okay. It's like how Gavin McGinnis got fired from his alt-right job in Canada. The news source was run by his ultra-conservative Drew Zionist. And Gavin was a massive anti-Semite. You get what you hire? Yeah. It's pretty funny. Because, like, Ben cultivates this audience of people who are almost 100% aligned, 99% aligned with Nazis, right? And then that extra 1% kicks in where they're like, yeah, no, it's actually Jews that are responsible for everything. And also Israel is, like, doing everything secretly. Then he goes, oh, dude, what the <laughs> And it's like, bro, what do you think? Like, what do you think these guys believe? Like, where do you think they came from? You align with them on 99%, okay? That's your audience. That literally is your audience. Your your allies hate you because you are Jewish, okay? They are anti-Semitic. He didn't plan on that part? No. He just grew comfortable thinking that, like, you know what it is? He grew comfortable thinking that it wouldn't actually hurt him, which is funny because that's why he left Breitbart. Ben Shapiro used to write at Breitbart while Breitbart had a tab specifically dedicated to black crime, as in crime that black people were committing, specifically. He didn't have an issue with that, but he did have an issue with the anti-Semitism coming from Milo Yiannopoulos, okay? And you would think that that would have caused him to reconsider some things and be like, why are there so many anti-Semites in my anti-Semitic audience? But no, he didn't consider that at all that's why they hired candace owens they hired candace owens after she had famously said hitler simply wanted to make germany great i'm sorry but if you hire someone who's saying that you should expect them to say more of that when you hire them if i hire steven crowder i'm expecting him to be racist i'm not going to punish him for being racist that's why i'm hiring him here it is by the way for those of you who don't believe me the infamous black crime tag yeah, why did these why did these gay men keep sucking my is pretty funny. It's what's it's exactly what's going on. Do you think losing you're losing popular because people are turning into right wingers or because actual socialists finally found out you're a fraud? <laughs> yeah. That actual socialists finally found out I'm a fraud. That's what happened. <laughs> Dude, I love I love you guys, man. You're great. It's both. People are becoming more and more right wing and people are like, this guy's a fraud. No way. Joe Rogan. They lost Joe Rogan. Hey, I want to know what, was she, what she was fired for. Because was it criticism of Israel? Was it, I mean, did she show that Edward Snowden video that he put up on Twitter that shows them oh, maybe. drone bombing those kids that are those men, I should say, unarmed people that were walking towards the rubble? No, I, I, I do think that Candace Owens, dude, God, look, 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 look. There's a correct way to talk about this, Okay which Elk Man is not going to do. Ape Man is not going to do the correct way to talk about this. Candace Owens is definitely, Candace Owens is definitely an anti-Semite. Make no f mistake. Turkish commie trust fund baby. Nice. You suck, Nepo baby, fake commie Turkish trust fund baby. <laughs> Bro, why'd you ban him? He's got such good takes. I'm unbanning that guy. I want to hear more from him. Um, Yeah, he, he fit all of those big words in there. I'm proud of him. Um, Candace Owens definitely... Definitely anti-Semitic. This is why we have an awful community. No, I no. These are the opposition must not be banned for speaking the truth to power, dude. See, he's still a Turkish trust fund baby. I do not have a trust fund, my friend. Um, I take care of my parents. You can have some pets. You can have some pets. We can have some. We can have a little bit of pet. He's not coming back to the light. Come on, this is just a broken clock being right once, twice a day. Yeah, I don't care. I care about the influence that he holds over a massive audience. It's actually dope that he's like still saying Israel is undoubtedly committing a genocide because his hogs that literally cling on every little word that he says will come to that recognition as well.
that yeah. clearly weren't causing yeah. any danger to anybody. Yeah, right. They just bombed them. Yeah, no, it's your duty. It's just like for Biden or whoever you like, you're supposed to cover up for them. Because but the whole thing yeah. is like they're always saying they're only targeting Hamas and everybody else is a casualty. Well, if those guys are just unarmed civilians and they're walking alone, that's what they appear to be. Dresden. And you just blast them from the sky with robots. This is the tragedy of war. Yeah, this is insane. And no one knows what to think now because if you can't talk about that, if you can't say that's real, then you're saying that genocide is okay as long as we're doing it. And that is what we're saying. And if you're saying that from a perspective of someone who literally went through the Holocaust or your, your people, your tribe went through the fucking Holocaust and now you're willing to do it. I hope the irony is not lost on you. It, it, it's so nuts. It's so hard to imagine that someone where a, cult, a culture, like a country was like officially founded in what, 47, 48, 48. Okay. Officially founded. So that's so recent. <laughs> and, you, and you guys are willing to do what was done to you that led you to believe that you needed to start your own country? You're yeah. willing to do that at least on a small scale in Gaza? Like, there's nothing left. If you see the videos, let's see, let's see some recent footage of Gaza. Damn, bro. What? He popping off, dude. Hey, I want to know what, was she, what she was fired for. Because was it criticism of Israel? Was it? I mean, did she show that Edward Snow? I like that Candace Owens being fired is what caught him uh, to, to say this. Joe Rogan outfl outflanking the vast majority of Dems from the left. Yeah. I think I saw Mac wearing your merch for his Rogan video. Who? Mac? Oh, the good politics guy? Is that Mac? Right after that, he shits on SJW Palestine protesters. Nice. Of course. You got to do a little column A, column B, dude. Would you still do his pod? I would do his pod any day of the week. I don't care what his uh, takes are.